Hey everybody, here's another water comparison video. Tonight we're comparing these two bottles of water. These are both Karma Wellness waters. First stop is the pomegranate one, and next stop is the Black Cherry Karma Wellness water. And so these are like waters with vitamins and um, probiotics in them. And the thing that's unique about both of these bottles is the water right now is clear, and it's just spring water. But the vitamins themselves are actually in the cap and it has instructions it says you peel off the cap you press down and then it like infuses the water right in front of you so they say that vitamins deteriorate when they're in water so if they're like sitting on the store shelves in the water the company claims at least that they're gonna be like less fresh and less uh, strong if they're sitting in the bottle so that's why they have you push it down. So I'm going to show you how to do it. And um, here we go. Let's just do it. I'm going to, I'm going to compare the two and uh, decide which one I think tastes better. So here's the bottle. I'm going to take off the label, actually, so you can see the, the you know, vitamins going into the water. All right. These are $2 per bottle. These are from the store Giant Eagle. And they have other flavors. The other flavors include Tropical Burst, Passion Fruit, Raspberry, Pineapple, and Orange Mango. And here is the cherry one. It's actually pretty crystal clear to start off with. And so, just peel this off. Make sure you guys can see this. And you just, here's the little button you just press down. And there it goes. It says peel, press, and then shake. And now it's no longer crystal clear. It's actually getting pretty dark, actually. That is a pretty unique, you know, design. Have you ever had any other drink where you like press down on a button and it just injects it into there? All right, here, uh, this label is actually clear, so I'm not gonna take the label off, but do it again. You peel, press down. See it getting infused. And then you shake. Cherry one is uh, a little bit darker. I mean, it's like pretty neat design, and it's an interesting thing. I'm kind of like skeptical of if it's worth it for them to do that. Like, does it does it really become that much less strong when it sits in the water? And then I guess you just unscrew this. Yeah, there's a smell to it. it tastes like Kool-Aid. So this is supposed to have 20 calories. And the ingredients include spring water, natural flavors, aspartic acid, citric acid, Fruit juice, stevia, cane sugar, white tea, green tea, and a bunch of other stuff. There's a lot of ingredients for a water. It does call itself water. It says wellness water right on the front of the bottle. So I guess it counts as an episode. It's more like a, a vanilla cleaner, sort of. This kind of tastes like a cleaning product, like a floor cleaner or something. Um, I think two dollars is pretty expensive for this, and I, I guess it's good for you, but uh, I'm not sure if it's worth the extra cost. I was watching a review on YouTube, this guy Reed, Reed Reviews, 
and he kind of went through it and did the whole video. He drank some of it. And then the video went to black at the very end. <laughs> and I guess a few minutes after he, he recorded the video, he comes back on the screen and was saying how much he was farting. This is gave me gas. After drinking this stuff. I, I think that's actually kind of a good sign. Like, I think farting is actually kind of healthy. Anyway. Uh, might sound weird, but... And if, if you do fart, it means, like, it is doing something to your body. You know, health, healthy, I guess. I just thought it was funny in his video. Karma. Uh, neat brand. Karma's pretty big on uh, Reddit. When you, like, upvote something, you're giving them karma. Uh, as far as karma being, like, a real thing, like a magical force, I don't believe that. But I do kind of believe in karma just in the sense that if you're a nice person to people, good stuff will happen to you for the most part. I just don't believe in the magical force of it. I just think that, you know, if people see you being nice, they're more likely to be nice to you. If people see you being charitable, they're more likely to be charitable towards you. And I think a lot of the time, you know, when you when you do something nice for someone, you know, people talk about it and... You know, there are, like, incident, incidental effects of it where you might not even know someone's watching you, but karma ha kind of has an effect where someone might be looking out of a window and seeing you doing something nice, or, you know. I, th I just think that uh, there are effects of, um, when you're, when you're a good person, good stuff happens to you. When you're a bad person, bad stuff happens to you. Like, if you are a bad person and you rob all the time, you're going to go to jail. It's kind of like a form of karma, right? If you do bad stuff, bad stuff happens to you. Um, but like I said, I just don't think there's like a magical force where, you know, if nobody knows about something you did and there's no way for them to know, I don't think something just magically will make something good or bad happen to you because of it. All right, I'm gonna say that the winner. Just this is basically just my own personal preference. But I'm gonna say the winner is winner is the cherry. It's a black berry cherry. So this one is moving on to the next round. Congratulations! And thanks for watching, everyone.